I'm going to be jumping out of an airplane using VFX. So we grabbed the good old dusty and creased green screen, set it up and decided to film the shot. In this stage of the process, I was very excited and bursting with energy. But this is what I look like later on in the video. So I've got 72 hours to fix this shot from start to end, starting right now. We filmed the shot on a green screen. The green screen is pretty old and had been folded up for more than two years, but it's still a trusted friend. My friend. We even used it to make an entire green screen movement. Don't watch it though, it's terrible. But it was a great learning experience. This is what the shot looks like. My friend here noticed that our hands moved beyond the screen. And me, being a seasoned and professional VFX artist said, we'll fix that in post. I got you, homie! I then went to the computer and opened DaVinci Resolve to remove the green screen. We made sure to film with a higher shutter speed so that there's no motion blur, because that might really mess up our shot. I then decided to remove the grain, because it flickers around and that makes it very hard to get an accurate key. I guess I've learned a thing or two about green screens in the past. I have. But then, I ran into a problem. The hands. These dark creases, everything was falling apart due to bad planning. But I still tried my best to fix it. So I used the magic mask to cut myself out and dilate the mask outwards to make sure me and my hair are in the frame entirely. I created a clean plate by making a green background and now I remove the green screen, done. But now the hands, these awful hands. I have to try something, but nothing worked. The magic mask didn't work. Hell, even I stopped working. I then reached a new low. There's only one option left, masking. Oh, hey. If there's one thing in VFX I absolutely dislike, it's masking. But at this point, I didn't have any other choice because there's only 46 hours left on the clock. So I started masking every little bit and after an hour, I really felt like giving up. My hand was aching and I already knew that this was gonna take an infinite amount of time. I looked up at the ceiling of my office and suddenly felt miserable and defeated. I then looked back at my screen and saw this laughing face staring at me. And then I realized something. I never give up. Whether it's about going to the gym and giving it my all, finishing books and university, making movies that are way above my skill level, even making videos for channels that don't get a lot of views or interaction. I never give up. I simply do what I do best. Work even harder. So I started grinding. Give me a Sigma grind set edit right here. Now after all this time masking, I removed every piece of flicker, every shadow, every abnormality and it cost me only 6 hours of blood, sweat and tears. And now it's finally time for my favorite program in the world, Blender. I used an airplane model that I've made before to make this render. It's definitely not the best as I modeled and textured it in less than an hour, but for the distance I'm going to be using it, it's pretty decent. I placed it right behind me to show I actually jumped from a plane. I then went into my asset browser and took some buildings I've modeled before. I placed the buildings right here to give the shot a bit more depth. It also looks more interesting as it is revealed. That always looks cool. For the lighting, I only used an HDRI. You can check out my 10 lighting tricks tutorial to set this free add-on up. Oh, this is important as well. Click motion blur. Now it's time to render. Now for my second favorite program in the world, DaVinci Resolve. Let's composite this shot. We need some sort of light wrap, some clouds, lens flare, and camera motion. And it's finally done. Brenda Renda-san, are you happy? I think so. What's up? Why are you Japanese? Desu? Tatakai. Blender Renda-san. Tatakai. Ganbarimasu. You can do it. Ah, you can do it. <coughs> That's enough of Blender for today. Okay, so I re-rendered the scene from Blender because the airplane animation was not up to my expectations. The building started to get into frame way too early and the compositing overall was just meh. But due to the guidance of the voices in my head, screaming at me for being an incompetent and lazy bastard, I decided to change it all. And this is the final result. Let me know what you think and what I can improve on. And if you want to know how I made these VFX, I highly recommend watching this video next. <laughs> <laughs>